guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And I will teach you how to do Java applet using JCreator. Next, first we have to open JCreator. Wait for the loading. <coughs> Then after we open JCreator, we need to close this thing, the tips. Then we need to create a new file. Just click the file and then new, then new project. And click basic Java applet. The next, we have to name it first applet underscore Java or any name you want. Then finish. After that, just click finish again. Then we'll see the Java applet right here. First, we need to delete this graphics. We don't need this graphics G in our Java applet. We just need to use the init. The thing we're going to do is this application form right here. We need to do this application form. First is the labels. The labels are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then one checkbox group here in the submit button. First, we need to declare the variables. First one is the label. Label. Then label 1, label 2, label 3, label 4, 5, and 6. Close. Closing. Semicolon. Then text field. Text field. Let's name this text field one. Then I just copy this. Control C. Then text field two. Text field three. Text field four. Close. And then the checkbox group. Checkbox group. We should name it gender. The next is the checkbox. Checkbox male and female. Okay. This tutorial is for advanced users of Java. Then the next is button. We have to name it submit. Okay, after we declare the variables, we have to move on to the init function. We have to set layout to null. To null. For the defaults. Then, we need to declare the labels. We need to put a string. The fill up, the last name, gender, student number, and age. First, we need to do label 1 is equals to new label then open close parenthesis then double quote fill up yan <coughs> end then we're just going to copy this then paste 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we need to, to name this label 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then we, we have to rename this one. First name. The last name. Next is the gender, the fifth one is the student number, and lastly the age. Okay, control save. The next is for the text field. We have the four text fields right here. We have to declare that two. Then text field. text field 1 is equals to new <coughs> text field then 
double coat so that is empty and then we have to use 40 for the inside okay let's just copy this control c then control b so three four we have only four text field rename this to two then the three and four it's just all the same <coughs> next is the gender gender first two new checkbox group up open close parenthesis then end next is the mail is equals to new checkbox checkbox then we have to name it mail then the checkbox group is gender then we have to to type false we type false because it should don't have a check in the checkbox the next is female new checkbox again then let's name this female just uppercase the first for formality then checkbox group is the gender then let's type in true <coughs> later you'll see these true and false attributes in the checkbox then last is the submit is the new button and we have to name this submit or login if you want to <clears throat> the next we have to do the set bounds uh, the set bounds option the set bounds has a x and y axis width and height okay I will just comment the set bounds for example this is the name of your variable name then set bounds then x y width and the height close that's what we're going to do first we have to set the bounds of uh, label one label one that set bounds wherein x is let's try 180 then y is 10 the y is the vertical and horizontal vertical uh yeah vertical axis inside the applet then let's say the width is 50 and the height is 20 and let's end this then for the label one to go to pop up in the applet we need to add label one don't forget the parenthesis then one then end then save let's see what will happen run project you can click run or use the shortcut key which is F5. Let's wait for a bit. Applet is starting. Now you'll see the peel up button is right. The peel up label is right here. Okay, okay. Now we need to add the other variables. Let's close this for now. Then back to coding. Next is label 2. Let's set bounds. Label 2 is for the first name, the name. Next, let's say it's x is 50. Then the y is the addition of this y and height. You need to add that so it can have a formal positioning 30 then the width is 100 and the height is 25 the next is the text field the text field is this box right here where you type your name 
<coughs> okay, next we need to add the text field 2 which is I text field 1 then set bounds uh, it should be a little bit further from the x let's just add this width and the x-axis which is 150 then the y-axis should be the same 30 then it should be 225 for the height I do this 200 for the typing of the name then we need to add label 2 and and add text field 1 and save then let's run and see what happens hmm. Okay, sorry for the slow loading of my screen. See, the applet is starting. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, let, let's see what happens, the first name, and this is the text field one, right here. <clears throat> okay, next, for the last name. Up. We need to add text label 3. Uh, let's type label 3, that set bounds, and the x axis is 50. And the y-axis is the addition of y and the height. So that it should be aligned. Say 55. And then just copy the 100. 100 width and 25 height. Next is the text field 2. That set bounds. Oh. You should notice your spelling. Then this x axis is 150, and the text fields y should be the same with the label. And just copy the 225 height. And we need to add the 2. Add label 3, and add text field 2. Save. The next we go on to label for which is the gender we need to set bounds for label for and the x axis is 50 also then the y axis is the addition of 55 and 25 which is 80 then just copy the 100 width and 25 height next is for the male in the female checkboxes right here yep just like our fill up form set bonds oh wrong spelling then this x axis should go should move to the right a little bit the x axis should be 100 and the y is addition of 80 plus 25 is 105 right right then just copy the 125 then female that set bounds x axis is 100 again and just add 105 and 25 which is 130 then 100 the width and 25 by height and we need to add label for add male add female control save then run and let's see what will happen
wait for the loading to finish. <clears throat> okay, you see that the female has a check because we write here in the code that the female is true and the male is false. That's why the female has an auto check and the male has none. Okay, move on to the next. It's the label 5, which is the student number. Label 5, that set bounds. Mm -hmm. The X should be 50, aligned with the other labels. And the Y axis should be the addition of Y and the height. 130 plus 25 is 155. Then just copy the 100 and 25 height. Next, the text field 3. <coughs> and just copy the X of the other text fields, which is 150. And you have to be the same Y axis with the label. Then the 200 width, just copy 200 width and 25 height. Next, we need to add label 5. Then add text field 3. Okay. Next is the label 6. Set bounds. Label 6 is for the age. 50 again, the uh, x axis. <coughs> And the y-axis is the addition of 155 and 25, which is 180. Then, copy 100 width and 25 height. Oh, sorry. I forget something here. Set bounds. Okay. Then, text field 4. The last text field. Set bounds which is the bounds of it the x-axis is 150 the y-axis should be the same with the label 180 and we need to adjust the width a little bit because it's for the age let's say 45 and 25 by height okay last is the submit button you have to type submit dot set bounds then its x axis should be aligned or not aligned with the label 1. It's okay, it's up to you. I just use 180. The next is the addition of this 180 plus 25 is 205. The next, let's say the width is 75 and the height is 25. Okay, then we need to add the remaining labels. Add label 5, I6, add button, add submit, and end, then add text field 4, save, and let's see what will happen. Okay, our fill up, our application form is now set. Okay, submit button is right there, the age and the student number is right here. Okay, on my next video, I will show you how to put a function for this, for this application form. And please, if you like this video, Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.